Same games, big change in atmosphere. The Master Chief Collection is bringing back more than just a couple of games that you grew up with. It's bringing back the way that they were meant to be played. With a ranking system identical to Halo 2's and two competitive playlists right off the bat, this is the real deal. If you started playing after Halo 3, then trust me, you've never experienced this kind of competitive Halo. Those two playlists won't be for the faint of heart, but I've got what you need to know if you'll be fighting for a decent rank. Welcome back friends, this is Dell. Let's talk Halo. Team Hardcore and Halo Esports. They're two playlists with the most competitive settings available, and they're both ranked. Halo Esports is what I believe 343 will use to give event competitors a set of unified rules to practice with and use at tournaments specifically for Halo 2 Anniversary. Meanwhile, Team Hardcore has the same sets of maps and game types from Halo 2 and Halo 3 that the pros played on on the MLG circuit from 2004 to 2009. It gives traditional fans a place to relive the glory days of the long road to level 50. Now you might be one of those traditional fans who can't wait to hop onto Halo 3 and finally have a decent connection. Or maybe you're a new competitive player who didn't get into the scene until after the days of skill-based ranking systems departed from the world of Xbox Live. Either way, I guarantee you'll be pouring the most sweat and the most tears into one of these two playlists. What does it mean for the online environment though? This kind of challenge brings out the best and the worst in people, and you'll need to be ready. So let's start with the good, communication. In case you hadn't noticed, in the past few years it seems the Xbox Live community has moved away from game chat entirely. The average person today uses party chat to only talk with their friends, mainly to avoid dealing with the people who have nothing better to do than act obnoxious through a microphone. In the heyday of Halo 3, this wasn't even close to the case. In fact, you'd be ripped apart for not having a mic plugged in while playing ranked. So what changed? In a ranked game, you were there to win, even playing with randoms, because everyone wanted the same thing, and game chat left no room for those trolls. It might be a jarring transition for some of the kids today, but I think that ranked atmosphere will demand this level of communication and respect. If you jump into Team Hardcore, you would better have your mic plugged in, and you better be ready to work as a team. Now if you're afraid of being made fun of for not knowing a callout or a weapon spawn, don't be. The beauty of ranks is that the people you're playing with are at your skill level and probably know just as much as you do. Of course, with the good that comes from communicating, there's also the bad. With ranks comes passion, competition, and a real drive to win. Players actually care about winning and losing now, and sometimes that means they'll go overboard. This is where you'll see trash talk and aggressiveness, but you'll just have to keep your cool as a player. Keep the trash talk about the game, and keep the criticism constructive. Yeah, there'll be the dicks who think they're the best, just don't be one of them. Remember, people act out because more than anything, they want to win. But good gameplay will always speak the loudest. I won't lie, to be a competitive player, you'll need thick skin. But it all comes with practice, and that's the biggest thing. There's no other way to improve in Halo without ridiculous amounts of practice. But more importantly, to be a competitive player, even more than all that practice, is accepting that there will always be someone, somewhere, practicing just a little bit harder, who's just a little bit better. In Team Hardcore and Halo Esports, you'll be matching with everyone else just like you. Not the casual bros with their buddies who've never played Halo. Not the 10 year olds who just convinced their mom to buy them an Xbox. It will be us, the competitive players, the skilled players, the players that you can rely on and respect for their skill. With massively increased populations and real competitive settings, you might be surprised at just how average you are. But this is nothing to be ashamed of, and it'll just foster more competitive games. Your ego will be saved a lot of brutality if you start playing, accepting that you'll be against people who just might outplay you. Playing these game types won't be like anything that Halo Reach or Halo 4 offered. If you're used to charging out and wrecking everyone in pub matches, sort of like in this gameplay, ranked competitive Halo will be a rude awakening. So the truth about an online competitive atmosphere? Every game will be a battle that you'll need to be mentally prepared to fight. You won't have any games handed to you, and sometimes you'll just be outmatched. Accepting that you're playing at the highest skilled playlist in the most competitive console title available will make it easier to get past those tough losses. Because all that practice won't mean much if you beat yourself up every time you play someone just a little better. The road to 50 really is a grind, and you'll have to be ready to work for it. But trust me, the reward of each new rank will make it all worth it. This has been Delementary. I'll see you guys later.